Hello and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. My name is Trish Nolan and I am a software consultant for the BMC MainView products. In this course, you will learn how to navigate through the MainView for DB2 product to retrieve the critical performance and activity metrics necessary to manage your DB2 environments. MainView for DB2 is a monitoring tool which provides businesses with the capability for both online and batch monitoring of their ZOS DB2 subsystems, objects, and all related activity. MainView for DB2 provides users with online, real-time interval and historical DB2 activity and statistics details necessary for the ongoing monitoring and tuning of their DB2 subsystems. MainView for DB2 supports both data sharing and non-data sharing environments and parallel sysplex and non-parallel sysplex environments. Detailed data from multiple DB2 subsystems can be easily viewed on a single screen through both the 3270 and GUI interfaces to this product. MainView for DB2 includes the MainView Alarm Manager feature, allowing users to create custom exception thresholds and alarms, resulting in proactive monitoring of their DB2 subsystems and activity. MainView for DB2 is also fully integrated with the BMC MainView Auto Operator for ZOS Automation product, which provides automation capabilities for your DB2 environments. MainView for DB2 is also fully integrated with additional BMC Software DB2 products, including Catalog Manager for DB2, AppTune for DB2, Opportune for DB2, and Pool Advisor. MainView for DB2 also includes the BMC Common Explain function, which allows users to perform DB2 explains on both static and dynamic SQL. This same Common Explain engine is used for the explain capability in all BMC DB2 products, providing a standard interface and results across all BMC DB2 products. MainView for DB2 includes a set of easy menus, allowing users to easily navigate to the specific area of DB2 monitoring data that they wish to display. For example, the Easy DBA menu will display options and functions which DBAs perform on a regular basis. The Easy DZParm menu will display the sections of the DB2 DSN ZParm settings. The Easy D-Lock menu displays DB2 locking activity, timeouts, and deadlocks. The Easy DDF menu displays options for monitoring DDF threads and activity. MainView for DB2 includes the Performance Reporter feature, which provides batch reporting capabilities on historical DB2 activity. These functions will not be covered in this training session, but are fully documented in the MainView for DB2 Performance Reporter User Guide. In order to access the MainView for DB2 product, you will select Option D from the primary MainView selection menu and press Enter. You will then be presented with the DB2 Solution submenu. On the option field at the top of this submenu, type the numeral 1 and press your Enter key. You are then presented with the Parameter Confirmation panel. In the Context field on this panel, enter the context of a single DB2 subsystem, the word All to view information for all your DB2 subsystems, or a custom context name which contains multiple DB2 subsystems. After you have entered your context, press the Enter key to enter MainView for DB2. Upon entry to MainView for DB2, you are presented with the EasyD SSI default menu. This is the default menu that all users see upon first entering MainView for DB2. I would like to point out in the center of the menu, towards the bottom under the DB2 system area, there is a DB2 topic index. This index allows users to easily navigate to specific areas of information within MainView for DB2 by topic index. 
Place your cursor on the DB2 Topic Index option and press Enter. You are then taken to the EZD Topic View. This view allows you to select a specific topic by the alphabetical letter that that topic begins with. For example, if you want to display current ZPARM settings, you would put your cursor on the letter Z and press Enter. You are then taken to the topic Z view, and there are two topics displayed on this view that begin with the letter Z. If you want to go to the ZPARM menu, you place your cursor on the view name of EZD ZPARM and press Enter. You are then taken directly to the EZD ZPARM menu. This menu can be used to go to specific areas or sections of your DB2 DSN ZPARM settings and display the actual settings that you have currently in effect. Going back to our EZD SSI menu, another command which is very useful is the Views command. If you would like to display a list of all the easy menus available in Main View for DB2, enter the command views, V-I-E-W-S, a blank, the letters E-Z, and an asterisk, and then press Enter. You are then presented with a list of all the easy menus available within Main View for DB2. In this case, we wish to go to the EZD Lock menu. We place our cursor on the EZD Lock menu name and press Enter. You are then taken to the EZD Lock menu. This menu allows you to access information about your current and past DB2 locking activity for either a single DB2 subsystem or multiple DB2 subsystems. Although this main view for DB2 training course has been provided utilizing the 3270 interface, please keep in mind that all main view products, including main view for DB2, may be accessed through the main view explorer GUI interface. This GUI interface presents an easy way to produce graphs and look at the main view for DB2 information and is provided with every main view product at no additional charge. For more information on the main view for DB2 product, you can also access www.bmc.com support slash product dash documentation.